And so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they pump. Hey y'all, let's jump right into this wig and style by tending to the most important part, which is what is under the wig. So let's take that wig cap off and start over. So I'm going in with the iconic pink lotion and slathering that in my hair, especially on the parts because my hair can get itchy from being dry and that's the worst with the wig on. I'm locking that moisture in with Africa's best hair oil. I got it from my local hair store and it smells so good. I'm making sure to massage that in so that my hair is moisturized underneath this wig and does not get itchy. This is my favorite part. I'm taking my wig cap and my ghost bond glue to adhere that cap. Child, these wigs will have you looking real felonious out here. <laughs> I don't know why I did that to myself, um, but I'm going in and cutting these ear tabs with my big scissors and applying the glue below my hairline. All right, I'm applying that glue with um, my glue comb, which is what you see on the screen. Um, it has glue all over it. I have that same comb, but it doesn't have glue, and you'll see later on in the video, but it's what I call my regular comb. So anyways, be sure to apply that glue below the hairline for easy removal. As you can see, you don't want to get this in your hairline or on your edges because it's hard to remove and it's very damaging. But this is a wig, so pretty. Let me give you a little bit of information about it because I just washed it. Let me show you the products I used. I bleached and washed the wig off camera with these products. The Crystal Clear Adore is a TikTok hack that is amazing. It had my hair looking really shiny and juicy. Um, but this is where I got the wig from, which is Eunice. It's a 26 inch without the curly edges. Such a good wig. I get all my wigs from them and no, this isn't sponsored. Going in with the Beauty Blender and Foundation Stick from Thread in the color 160 to blend in this wig cap and to blend in the wig. You'll see me kind of taking that along the wig and putting it on there. This helps to blend everything in once we apply it. I'm taking my big scissors to cut the cap. And as you can see, the glue is completely dry and translucent, which is what you want. I'm being really careful not to leave any straggly pieces of the cap that's not glued down because it will show through the lace once applied. But as you can see, I'm taking the end of my scissors and clipping it to get a better line so that it'll blend in easier is what I'm trying to say, child. I don't know what I was trying to say, but I'm taking those same scissors and just cutting that excess off in the back. I'm taking a makeup wipe as well, and I'm just gonna clean up any makeup before applying the wig as that extra oil will make your wig not last, but you can also use alcohol. So I'm finally putting this wig on and it's blending in already. That's such a good sign. I'm adjusting to my head as well as adjusting those clips in the back to see if I need to cut any lace back, which I did have to cut some back. I usually do this just so that it doesn't show through that excess um, cap. And so I went in and I just cut off that little tab that was unnecessary child and no, it didn't hurt. It did not hurt. Once I did that, I went ahead and blew my cap back <laughs> and started applying the glue. You want to be sure to get some on that cap and a little bit on your skin so that everything merges together and melts in smoothly. What you don't want is for your cap to start sliding back prematurely while your wig is still on because it will show through the lace and it'll kind of show like your hairline and then it'll be the wig cap, you know, further back and it's, it's just, it's not cute, okay? So I'm applying that all the way around my edges um, using my glue comb, which is, you know, the different comb. We discussed this. And I'm making sure to put extra on my problem areas, which is the ear tabs. So I'm just letting that dry and I'm just dancing, chilling, waiting for the glue to go clear or just about clear. Um, so 
once it's just about clear i start to match that lace in and use my regular comb to comb it back if you wait right before it's all the way clear you'll be able to adjust it if it's not right so that's just kind of my beginner hack to let it be a little bit um, of a white cast before you do that I'm using my Eunice headband to melt this lace in child them bands will have you tore up I almost whiplash myself be careful they are vicious <laughs> make sure your band is around all the parts that are glued sometimes you do have to put it over your ears to make sure those ear tabs blend in nicely and you can see me doing that after it's tied in so make sure you do that that is another tip I have I was not putting it around my ear tabs and that did make them come up quicker While I'm waiting on my lace to melt in, I'm taking my regular comb and defining my part. You want to make sure you are covering that track in the back. And then I'm taking my Murray's Beeswax. Uh, which is the same kind of like as a wax stick just in a jar and I'm smearing that on before doing my first round of hot combing um, I got this good good hot comb you're about to see off Amazon a while ago along with a lot of other products you'll see in this video and my other vlogs let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in an Amazon storefront for me with some stuff like this in it if you're not sure I'm up to the task I'll link some other videos of mine in the corner so you can watch those to see if you want me to open a storefront and just see if you want to subscribe if you haven't already so do y'all see this somebody come look at this that's right the lace is melted honey late you see the facial expressions i'm going right back in with those scissors and cutting the ear tabs off first i cut a little slit and slit i'm sorry in between the lace and wig to make sure it's not too tight on my head i'm doing this to the other side before i start to actually cut this lace um, to my hairline but this step really helps you to keep your wig on longer as it's not going to irritate you if it's a little bit too tight around that ear tab part. So I'm cutting the lace with the same technique um, I cut with the wig cap where I'm using the very tip of the scissors and cutting. Um, the only difference is this time I'm making sure to not cut in a straight line and changing the angle of the scissors with each little cut that I make. This just helps the wig to blend in better. You'll see this technique better once I come around to the other side of my head in a second. So as you can see, using the very end of my scissors to make those little cuts and coming around to this other side, you can really see how I'm changing the angle of those scissors um, and making sure that I'm cutting according to where I put that glue. This is why I don't like pre-cutting my wigs, especially since I still consider myself a little bit beginner uh, with, with wigs. This really helps to keep my wigs and cutting the lace precise. So before I pull my edges out, I'm just touching up a few spots that didn't adhere well. Like I said, those ear tabs can be a beast, um, but I'm letting those dry a little bit before I start to pull those edges out. Using my regular comb to part out those baby hairs, I'm making sure I'm getting a good clean part and that there's no gaps in between hairs as that'll show once I start styling it. So I'm just making sure it's nice and thick all the way through.
I'm taking some got to be spray and I'm taking my edge brush to press in that product at the roots and around the lace as well before I take that elastic band and tie it up again. This will help that lace really melt in and it'll help define those edges easier. So I'm taking some heat protecting and parting off sections of the wig to hot comb it again. Since this is a side part style that I'm doing on a curly wig, it's really important to go in with a hot comb um, in sections so that the part that's flipped over will lay down flatter, especially since this wig is such thick density. And then you also see I'm going in with that hot comb sparingly and stretching these curls. This wig is nice and juicy and it's long, but I did want the length to show a little more. So this is a hack I use as well. All right, so it's time to take off that elastic and you can really see how blended that lace is. It's giving honey lace wear, lace who? So I'm going in with another product off Amazon, which is my edge curler after I cut these edges down. Fun fact about me, I am scared of head trauma. <laughs> when I used to get perms, I used to be so scared I'd get a chem chemical burn or when they would press my hair, that heat would have me shaking like a stripper. I could not take it. So you'll see me going in real, real, real cautious when I'm curling these edges, but trust me, this is an essential step. So yeah, don't let my fear get you caught up. This is definitely an essential step. It's so much better when you're styling. So you see me going in with some shiny jam just on the roots and combing that edge through following the shape of the curl we just made. Curling your edges, like I said, is a game changer. It makes it so much easier. So don't let that heat get you scared, child, because I be scared too. But I'm not letting it stop me being cute this spring, this summer. You can see just how easy it is to style your edges and I'm just doing that same step real cautious on the other side. My final step for this lace is just taking some styling foam and patting it into my edges before applying that elastic band one more time. You want that foam to set the edges so when you take it off, um, you can comb it out as you see me doing here. But that's it, y'all. That's that's how this lace turned it out, and it is melted, honey. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, but this does not have to be the end. Click a video on the screen to continue our conversation. Thank you.